Hi Blue Class, I hope you're all well and looking after yourselves. Um, it's been a really long time now, hasn't it? And I know this kind of feels like it's dragging a little bit, but I hope you're still all keeping busy and smiling and keeping in contact with each other. Um, I cannot believe we've been back two weeks already, but I hope you're enjoying our new topic. There's been some amazing learning shared from it. It's really nice to see lots of you being really creative. Um, I've learnt lots about different types of houses and things around the world that I didn't know, so well done from your PowerPoints and things, they've been really good. Um, and lo lots of, nice to see lots of learning going on still. Um, there's some of you that I'm seeing loads from each week, which is fantastic, you're still regularly posting, which is what we want to see. A few of you that I haven't really heard from. And this isn't us pestering because you must constantly show us work, it's only me pestering because I miss you all lots and I want to see what you've been up to. So even if I'm not saying upload everything, obviously we're still mainly going with showing us one main piece of work each week. Um, but even if you could just put on there a little explanation about what you've been doing or a photo of something, it's just nice for us to check in. I'm kind of trying to keep note of who I'm hearing from. And some of you, it's been a little while. So try and use that blog because obviously that is our only way of contact at the moment. Um, it's just nice to know that you're all okay. Um, some of you have still been putting some work in your folder and that's absolutely fine. As you've probably seen, I'm sort of still looking at bits where I can, I just may not comment on everything. But that's a good way of kind of storing everything you've been doing because we can then have a look at that perhaps when we come back or you can still share that in the future. So still feel free to save things on there. Try and post a few things on the blog because it will inspire others and it's lovely for me to see. Um, two weeks back at school now, so I have been teaching a bubble of year four or five children for one day and then I've been teaching year six on the other days which is something I've never done before completely out of my comfort zone but it has been enjoyable um, we've obviously got small class numbers at the moment um, most um, bubbles are still following exactly what we're doing at home just sort of using that home learning in school slightly different in year six as most of them are back we are doing their normal topic um, but yeah, it certainly looks different. I'm missing being in my normal class with my year fours. Um, and it will be nice when we can get back to normal. But getting used to the new ways of doing things and the zones that we can be in and working. So we're getting there. Um, a little bit about next week's learning. So we're slowly expanding where we're looking at. We've gone from our houses. We've looked at the villages and towns that we live in. This week we're going to be looking at West Sussex. So your English, I was really stuck on what we could do that's something slightly different and then I came across a sort of myth or legend um, based on the town Liminster, Liminster, I don't know how you say the name, um, about a water dragon which I'd never heard of before, it's meant to be based at the church there. So on the website is a kind of overview of that story which is really interesting and you've got a few sort of choices of activities that you might want to do about that, some different writing tasks. But also I found if you do look online um, at myths and legends in West Sussex, it's surprising how many there are. There's lots of different areas that have these kind of stories behind them, so you might want to look into that because it's really quite interesting and you could share some of those on our blog, different ones you find out about. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, maths this week, we're moving away from our graphs. Well done to those. Um, I know, Ethan, you managed to find out about people's favourite ice cream flavours by getting mum to find out the answers on Facebook and you put that into a graph and saw a graph from Jack, they were brilliant, but we're going to move on from graphs now and we're going to have a little look at angles. Now obviously I know that you can't be measuring angles, you might not have the equipment at home for that, but that's fine because we don't necessarily need to be measuring the angles, we just need to look at different type of angles that we can compare. So I've put a few different activities on there. One that I really liked was writing out your name on squared paper and then identifying the different angles depending on which way the lines go to make the different letters. But again, there's an example on the overview that will make more sense for that. Um, our reading, I thought it would be quite good. We've done a range of different activities, but to kind of focus on those key reading skills that we need. Um, so for the next few weeks, we're going to focus on a different reading skill each week. Um, and within the overview there's kind of a little explanation of what that skill is so this week we're going to be looking at inference so not necessarily being able to pick the answer straight out of the text 
but clues from the text that tell us things so we can tell something's happened because of perhaps the way a character's feeling or how they're responding to something. But there's a little explanation on there for you. Um, and your non-screen challenge this week, I thought going on how you've all become these amazing bakers during lockdown is a baking task. Um, along with the legend that I found, there's a recipe for a Sussex pie, which you could try. Obviously, if you don't like pie, you don't want to be making that. So you may want to look at some other recipes that are traditional in West Sussex. Um, there's a few that came up when I had a look. And share your pictures of your amazing creations if you do manage to do some baking. And let us know what people thought of it. Um... I've left your geography a little bit open-ended into finding out about a few different places in West Sussex because it might be a case of you visited somewhere that you'd like to share or you find out about somewhere that you'd like to know a little bit more about um, but it's looking at different landmarks and things in West Sussex. It might be really close to home, it might be further away. Um, trying to find out a little bit about those and be creative with how you present that. You might want to draw some of these landmarks as there are some amazing artists you may want to I know a few of you have been using powerpoints um, to present your information create a poster write about it that's up to you how you present it um, but you've all been really good at choosing different ways to do that um, they're the main tasks obviously look at the overview that'll give you a little bit more information um, but keep going I know this is really difficult and it must be particularly hard knowing that some children have come back to school and that you're not. I've certainly found it hard knowing some are back. I've constantly gone, please bring year four back, please bring year four back. Um, but keep going with it because it's not easy. You're doing an amazing job. It's fantastic to see your incredible learning and well done to parents too. Because I know you must be feeling exactly the same. Home learning, suddenly becoming teacher, isn't quite what you signed up to, but it's been really lovely to see. I'm amazed how enthusiastic some of you still are now, the different things you're doing, you're keen to share it on our blog, and it's really lovely to see. So I look forward to seeing that. I'm always desperate to check the blog to see what you guys have been up to. So keep that going. It's nice to hear as well, not just the work you've been doing, but some of the things you've been up to with your family as well. That's really nice to see. So keep going, you're all doing an amazing job, I'm super proud, there are five weeks left, um, but yeah, keep sharing what you're up to, please ask any questions if you're unsure, if you see something on the overview and you just need a little bit more help, this is for children or parents, of um, trying to explain that, how best to teach that, I can always then on the blog put an extra bit to help you or anything like that, so please don't be afraid to ask if you're unsure of things. Um, also, please don't always feel you have to do everything on the blog. I know some of you like to do lots, you've all got your different routines, so I'd rather put out a selection, you choose what fits in with how your days are going. Um, you don't. It doesn't mean you have to complete everything, or you may find that something takes longer to complete, you don't get it done in that week because you're working on it and it takes you two weeks, that's fine. You do what's best for you. Um, there's lots of amazing resources out there that I can... Um, I might on our blog this week put a few websites that I've kind of come across that you might find helpful. Um, if you're using anything that you've really enjoyed, I know I think Theo shared that he'd been using Oak Academy, um, which have got some brilliant things on. Share those things because it just gives us something new to look at because it's been a long time of home learning now and you kind of got into your routines but you might be needing to change things to keep it interesting for you. So share away, let us know what you're up to, it's lovely to talk to you all and I hope you have another amazing week and I look forward to seeing your learning. Stay safe Blue Class and hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.